Hey y'all, it's me, Lynn Daniel, coming to you today from my Lynn Daniel channel here on YouTube. How are you all doing? How have you been? I'm coming. It is uh, Today is Tuesday, June 9, 2020. 2020! And I'm just coming to make a record and tell you guys I got stung by a scorpion last week or last week yeah it's been it's been i needed to give that some time before i talked about it yeah i got stung by a scorpion mm, it, was, it was not fun either it hurt a lot and uh i was really mad at myself angry at myself for getting stung right you know the drill. You know what you should be doing. Why did you not do those things? But, um, so yeah. And this is me just kind of following up on things and just kind of sharing with you all. Because, like, here in Phoenix, um, you know, I know people who have lived here their entire life. Now, I'm sure most people I talk to who have moved here... Some have never seen scorpions. Some have seen scorpions. I've seen scorpions since I've been here. I, I remember when I first saw a scorpion in my apartment when I first moved here. I was like, oh my goodness, this is a scorpion. How do you kill these things? So I watched some YouTube videos on how to kill them. <laughs> and I've been an expert ever since because I'm like... They, you just can't play around with them. You really are not supposed to stump on them either. Don't kill them by stumping on them. I wouldn't. Like with the shoe. Maybe if you have your entire foot clothed in, enclosed in a shoe, maybe then, but not in a sandal. No, I wouldn't risk it. Uh, yeah, I didn't feel good. But other than that, um, I just wanted to make a video and just kind of document because, you know, I'm I'm climbing the ladders in number of years here on the planet Earth. And so it's like I need to just kind of have a record of how I'm doing after weird things like that. Yeah, but other than that, things are going well. School is out for summer. And um, it's been out for summer for us since May 23rd or whatever. May 25th or whenever that Friday was. Um, May 22nd was the last day of school for us. So I've been out a good second week. This is the second week. No? That's wrong. Hold tight. Yeah, I think that is. I'm looking at my calendar. Today is the ninth, so yeah, it's been one, two, we're in the third week of summer break. Man, that's fast already, the third week. Woo, we only get eight weeks. We got five weeks left, something like that. <sighs> okay, what am I talking about, guys? Because, um, what do you all want to hear about? I know you don't want to hear about boring teacher stuff. I know you don't want to hear about my study and the data and all that stuff. Um, you want to hear a little more about the scorpion? This is how the scorpion attack happened. So, I started this little garden in my yard like potted garden so I planted uh, beans cucumbers tomatoes onions and I feel like I'm leaving something out uh, oh and 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 lettuce spinach I pot planted them in pots you know so I was Saturday the it was the 20 the 30th Saturday the 30th of May I was out in the yard I 
I turn on the water hose. I'm sitting in the chair. I fill up the little baby pool that I got for my granddaughter. And she's like, Mabel, I am too big for that. I don't know what you're thinking. So I was soaking my feet in. You know, I, I had filled it up with water and put some suds in there. And, you know, I'm soaking my feet and I'm spraying my little vegetable plants. And um, I had mopped, I had just recently mopped the kitchen floor. And I was like, trying to let it dry. I mean, I was doing a lot of things. It's a Saturday. You know how you do stuff on Saturday. So anyway. I dried my feet. I took my feet out the little baby tub. I dried my feet. And then I was going to put on my slippers. My little thong shoes, you know. But I was like, oh man, they're wet on the soles. So I, and I just mop. So I'm just going to run in barefoot because I was going to fill up my um... I have this container of water that I put the food vitamins in for my plants, the plant vitamins. I mix it in the water, but I put it in that container. And I had turned off the water hose, so I didn't want to turn that back on. It's just, I don't know what I, I just, anyway, so I said, I will take the water jug in the kitchen, I will turn it on, I will put the the um, vitamins in the water dissolve it and then go around and water give each plant vitamins okay that seems fair and simple walk in walk around to the sink I feel like I stepped on a rock because I felt this but then it felt like you step on a rock right it hurt but it intensified quickly, like zoom, and I knew, I knew, I, I said, oh man, not a scorpion, and I looked back, and the scorpion was right there, like, I gotcha, <laughs> I'm like, oh man, I was so mad, I was so angry, because it, the intensity of the pain was increasing, like, crescendo, it, that's how it felt. I was like, oh, man. So, I, <laughs> I fussed. I made a mess, dropping stuff. And I, I went out and sat in the chair, put my feet back in the water. But this time, I'm applying pressure because it was on, on the sole of my foot. So, I'm using one foot to apply pressure to the point where I got stung. Cause it was hurting man and I just I sat there and I was like I can't believe this I can't believe this got my phone texting my daughter I just got stung by a scorpion but the weird thing about it I felt the venom like I could feel the um not feel it like rolling through my body but as it was moving through my bloodstream and it hit certain points in my body. I, I had reaction. I could I could tell. Alright. I could tell. So I was like, oh man. Let me take I took another allergy pill because I had already taken one, but I took another allergy pill. I took a, a chewable Benadryl. So I chewed a Benadryl. I sipped on some water. But then I was like, let me Google and see what else I should do. So I Google and it was saying things that I had already done. It did say apply some sort of um, sting cream or anti-itch cream or whatever to the sting. And so I did that in between the soaking and the pressure point. And so I did all of that and I waited for like an hour, was it? I waited for a while. I think... Because I got stung in the 1 o'clock hour. And I waited a while. And I was like, let me just see how I'm doing. I don't want to play around with this. If I need to go to um, urgent care or something. So I called urgent care. And they were like, mm, don't come to us. Go straight to the ER. 
so I went to the ER and they said okay we'll watch you for 45 minutes let's check your eyes they checked my eyes to make sure my eyes they said people's eyes go crazy I don't know they checked my eyes and they said okay you don't look like you're having any any side effects just sit there and wait 45 minutes 45 minutes later, they discharged me with a huge bill and um, said, yeah, I'll go get Tylenol and take Tylenol. So that's, that's the episode of Lynn getting stung by scorpions. The scorpions are commonplace here in Phoenix. So... You, you know, since, and that's why I was so upset with myself because I'm like, I know the routine, I know the drill. Like, why didn't I, you know, so anyway, remedy. So I've got my, um, <laughs> I've got my, um, book killer stuff, but I've got the professionals coming back. They're going to be doing their routine like because this is the season scorpions come out in the summer and the warm is already in the hundreds here so they're out and about and if you don't protect your home they'll just come in and so and they eat crickets I discovered that they eat crickets so if you got a lot of crickets around your house and you and you haven't seen scorpions it's because you're doing a good job of keeping them out of your house. So yeah, okay, that's that's really it. I just wanted to make a record of it. Um, yeah, we'll talk about some other things later. I mean, if y'all like, if you all want me to talk about anything, since I probably will be posting. Here, I don't know. That's why I sound kind of uncertain. Um, yeah, just for a record, so I can see <laughs> how I'm dealing with the summer of 2020. All right, y'all. I gotta go. I gotta go do some work. And it is 8:04 p.m. here, Pacific time. All right. Be blessed.